What do the numbers on the tire mean? What information do they carry? You will know this watching the video. For all tires, apart from the information about the manufacturer, there are other markings and denoting their parameters. For example, let us consider a standard tire marking 185 60R1482H100XL. The first number, 185, is the width of the tire in millimeters. The next number, 60, is considered to be the height of a tire. But in fact, this number shows the ratio of the tire's height to its width. For our roads, suitable tires are those with a ratio of 65 to 75 percent. The lower number, the lower the tire's profile. Marking R indicates that it's a radio tire. There are also diagonal tires, but they are almost not produced now. Number 14 is the inner tire diameter in inches at the point where it mates with the rim of the wheel. Number 82 is the index of the tire load capacity. That is maximum allowed load on the one wheel. A tire with an index of 82 can support 475 kilograms. For such tires together may carry a fully loaded vehicle whose maximum total weight is 1,900 kilograms. In most cars, on the door jam on the driver's side, there is information about the carrying capacity of a particular vehicle, as well as what tires are suitable for this size of car. H is the speed rating, which may also be indicated by other letters. L up to 120 km per hour, M up to 130, N up to 140, Q up to 160, S up to 180, T up to 190, U up to 200, H up to 210, V up to 240, Z over 240, W up to 270, and Y up to 300 km per hour. The letters indicate the maximum safe speed which tire can support in the presence of ideal conditions and during long periods of driving. The last marking, XL, indicates that the tire is reinforced relative to its size. Such tires have a greater load capacity and a greater recommended operating pressure. Considering the above mentioned notations, you can choose the ideal tires for your car. The channel Hello Answer, only the most interesting facts in an available format. Subscribe!